wanted to do a, uh, a quick Cajun Bell taste test for you um, with a full-grown Cajun Bell. So um, I tried one that was like, it, it wasn't grown yet, uh, just because I was being impatient with the plant. Uh, but anyway, it's starting to put off crazy fruit right now. Um, I've probably got like 12 peppers on the plant right now, um, and they're all just about grown. So from my experience, um, I grew this. Um, I have some philosophies on a lot of people debate on the heat levels of a Cajun Bell. Um, I definitely have some insight on that. Um, so uh, anyway, I just want to do the taste test now and then I'll do another video and I'll talk about uh, why mine that I grow, even at the green stage, once they're fully developed, why those suckers are hot. Um, the last one I ate was almost at the habanero level, not quite. Not quite, but almost. So um, I just wanted to, uh, I mean, it left sweat all here and on my forehead. And I love eating jalapenos. I think it was hotter than a jalapeno. Um, not necessarily hotter than, it, it's a different type of heat, though. Like, it's it's hot. But anyway, I'll go into that in a second. Um, so here we go. This is uh, one of my Cajun Bells. Um, cheers. You see the pod inside? Whoa. Holy crap. That's hot. <clears throat> <Ooh>. Um <laughs> I told everybody. I don't know if you can see my face just turn red. Um I actually think I'm gonna keep some of these seeds. So uh you can see this seed pod is full. Um yeah. I'm not really sure if they're sterile or not, but I'm keeping the seeds. Um, when I tried to dry out the seeds from that last one, they kind of turned brown, which my jalapeno seeds don't usually do that. Uh, so anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to keep these seeds, and then I'll eat the rest of it. Um, yeah, this little booger's hot, I'm telling you. And they're not even, these aren't even red. Can you imagine if they turned red? I'm just going to knock out a few of the seeds because I want to keep the seeds. This is my favorite pepper I've tried up until now. Um, Heat-wise in the whole nine. Um, so let's just let me knock out a few of these seeds real quick. And uh, just some. I'll eat most of them because they're hot and I like them. But uh, I just want to keep some of them too. They charge uh, quite a bit for these seeds online. I was looking at, and uh, so far out of all my jalapenos and stuff, this is uh, it's my favorite. This is definitely my favorite. So, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that little pause. I just want to keep a few of the seeds. Um, <laughs> if that tells you how much I like the pepper. Um, it's got kind of a bell flavor, but mine are so hot that it, uh, it kills a lot of the bell pepper flavor. Um, what I got on the last one that I ate was, I don't know, 30 minutes after I ate it. Um, <clears throat> whew, I'm getting a little bit of sweat on my, right here, I can feel it. Yep, I can definitely feel it there. Um, doesn't give me the hiccups or anything like that, but uh, my I, I burped, I guess, about 30 minutes later, and I could taste bell pepper. Um, so it definitely leaves like a bell pepper aftertaste once the heat kind of goes away But this heat this heat on these ones I grew are amazing. Um, it's perfect hot like I love hot stuff. I love crushed red pepper flakes This is the perfect hot so ah. So uh, yeah, I'm going to eat the rest of this I dropped it on the floor I'll Wash it off again real quick and I will eat the rest. Um, Yeah Amazing pepper, um, so far, hands down, my favorite, um, hands down. I mean, I haven't even tasted anything that comes close, honestly. Little butter's hot. Woo! And that's green. <laughs> Mm. That's a darn good pepper, though. I'm trying to tell you. Um, 
folks, I can't, I can't put it enough. This heat is perfect. Now I'm going to give you my philosophy rather than make another video, I guess, as to why I think my peppers, especially my Cajun bells that I've let fully grow, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, um, are so great and why they're so hot. Um, so I can imagine if I were to let them turn red on the plant, holy good God almighty. Um, at this mature green stage, they're about as hot as I want for like raw eating, honestly. Um, I don't want to be miserable when I'm trying to eat the pepper, um, but I do want heat. I do want some sweat. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm definitely sweating right here, right here. Uh, all this is wet. <laughs> um... I like heat, but I don't want it overbearing to the point to where, like, I can't taste anything. Um, this heat is amazing. And it's like a different heat than a spicy jalapeno. It's like you can still taste flavor, but the heat is there, I promise. Um, so, like I was saying, my philosophy on where I live um, outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, um, we've had a really hot summer so far. It's uh, June 23rd right now, and it's close to 100 degrees outside almost every day. Um, it's been really, really hot like the last four months. So the plant is getting stressed on a daily basis um, just from the daily heat here. Now, um, with hot pepper plants, you know, especially with this Cajun belt, it it needs to stay cool. Like, if it gets overheated and it gets dried out, those leaves will start wilting quick-like, just kind of like your jalapeno plants. Um, so my thing is, as I go out, it gets so hot here every day. I mean, I go out and I water it every day, um, but I don't have it in ground. I have them in pots. So uh, I go out, I water them once a day. I make sure the soil is moist once a day, um, and then I put it onto a mist. And I cool the plant down with the mist. Um, I, I do. I baby my plants. Um, and my peppers turn out absolutely amazing. Um, I don't care what pepper place you go to, what grocery store you go to. If you grow these Cajun bells right, you will not taste a better pepper than that. Especially if you like hot peppers. I'm telling you. Um, I can't speak highly enough for them. Um, but they say that like with hot peppers, if the temperature is hotter... If you deprive it of water, things of that nature, it'll stress the plant and make the chemical in the plant make hotter peppers. I definitely don't, uh, I guess because I have to water them each day that I guess they do maybe get a little bit stressed on a daily basis because the soil will completely dry out almost on a daily basis and then I rewater it. So I guess that is stressing the peppers to a certain extent. Um, but as long as I'm going out on a daily basis and making sure they're getting water, it's not hurting the plan in any way, but you're still getting that daily little bit of stress. Um, on top of that, it being close to 100 degrees every single day, and then me making sure I've got them in direct sunlight for six, seven hours a day, um, maybe eight hours, um, it's, it's done the trick on making those Cajun bells hot. Um, so different places where you grow them might play a role in how hot your Cajun bells come out. But I'm here to tell you, if you've got a heat standard where you live anywhere in between like 92 to 100 on a regular basis, you make sure that soil stays watered every day, these peppers will come out absolutely amazing. Like, they are fire. Um, such an amazing taste. They're loaded with seeds if you want to keep the seeds. Um, like I said, I haven't done any research to see if they're sterile or not, but there's a crap ton of seeds in there, so I'm assuming that they're not. Um, being that they're a hybrid. I'm definitely going to plant more of these. Right now I've got like 100 jalapeno plants around my yard. I'm, I want more of these. Um, this is my favorite pepper right now. Um, hands down. So Cajun bell pepper, highly recommend it. Um, if you have a hot growing season, a long hot growing season, just make sure you baby them. Make sure you water them on a regular basis. Um, make sure you use good soil. Make sure you fertilize with organic. I mean, I fertilize with organic. Um, nothing but organic. So, um, you know, everything you do in growing that live plant plays a role in what the off fruits are going to be like. So, um, God bless you and your harvest, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.